Hey guys, welcome back to the Financial Minute. My name's Josh. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about six steps in getting you to financial freedom, starting out with only $100. If you're new to the channel here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you could. Also, give it a huge thumb, thumbs up. That really does help. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it right after this. Have you ever wanted financial freedom? The ability to wake up in the morning not worrying about your finances and get out of bed and decide, you know what, maybe I'll work today, maybe I won't, but it's up to me. Uh, there's nobody that's going to necessarily say what I have to do to make or not make money, and it's up to me. Have you ever wanted financial freedom? So guys, a lot of financial freedom doesn't start with money. It starts with mindset. It starts with you. What do you think? How do you act? What are some of the decisions you make? So before we can spend that $100 and turn it into financial freedom, we have to first go up here. We have to get our minds straight. We have to do things like Say, you know what, I'm not going to listen to the negativity of the media or of friends, family. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove to myself and everybody that I can do this by taking many steps. One of the first steps I recommend is investing in yourself. That could, that could mean many things, uh, including taking courses, because the first thing you need, if you only have $100 to your name, is you need more income. Uh, you need more money. $100 isn't going to cut it, unfortunately. So you gotta, you got to take that $100 that you do have and invest it in yourself, for starters. Uh, some of this stuff doesn't cost any money. It's more time invested into you. Uh, some things that I would say are, are get in shape. Uh, invest in a gym membership and don't just invest in the gym membership actually go to the gym or you know you don't even have to go to the gym just go online and pick out a routine uh, from some uh, you know from an exercise guru and follow it there's so much free information out there you don't need to even go to a gym there's lots of exercises you can do without a gym without any equipment so you just have to set your mind straight saying hey I'm gonna do that also you need more income. Go to your employer, you know, get a certificate. You know what you do for a living. Figure out how you can turn your income into more income. Uh, grow your income. Maybe this won't cost any money. Maybe that certificate costs a very little bit of money, or maybe your employer will pay for it. Uh, you need to increase your income for starters. Another thing that I would do to invest in myself is uh, pick up a side hustle. There are so many side hustles you can do, uh, whether it be flipping watches on the side or maybe uh, buying stuff at the Goodwill outlet store or at garage sales and turning around and selling it. Uh, some people buy stuffed animals at garage sales and they make a ton of money just selling stuffed animals. I thought that was very interesting. I was watching a guy... Uh, tell his story about how he made you know tens of thousands of dollars uh, flipping stuffed animals. Uh, maybe you're mechanically inclined. Uh, do some car repairs on the side. Help people out with their car. Save them some money in the process. Make you some money. But anyway, pick up a side hustle. Guys, this is the kind of stuff I would do with my $100. Uh, first, you gotta invest it in increasing your income. Next, I would say you need to take the time to set goals. You have this $100, uh, you need to set goals on where you want to be in one month, one year, five years, and strive to reach these goals. Guys, you need to set it in your mind. You gotta get in shape, you gotta, you gotta set goals for income, for spending time with your family. You need to set goals get it up in your mind it really is all up here you really need to to work on focusing your mind 
get your mind heading in the right direction and your life will go in the right direction. So guys, you've taken the time to do these steps. You've uh, you've got your mind heading in the right direction. Now you got to invest that $100. Uh, or maybe it's not the first $100, maybe it's the next $100. But the next thing you need to do is set up a Roth IRA. One of the few ways in life to make free money. Uh, that's not taxable, I shouldn't say free money, but non-taxable money. An ETF, uh, so you can buy ETFs, you can buy gold, you can buy stocks, you can buy all kinds of stuff. You can even buy real estate eventually when you have more money and put it in a Roth IRA. So <clears throat> Roth IRAs are super cool and one of the few ways in life to make non-taxable or tax sheltered money. Of course, remember guys, I am not a tax advisor and I'm not your tax advisor. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not your financial advisor. This is all just ideas. You need to do your own due diligence uh, and figure things out for yourself. I'm just giving you some ideas to get started with. So now that you've set up a Roth IRA, what next? Well, it's time to put some money in that Roth IRA. I generally like to spend 70% of the money that's in there. And again, these are just my opinions, not investment tips. Uh, but I like to spend 70% of my money on broad portfolio ETFs. And I'm not going to give you specific ETFs. Uh, I'll let you do your own due diligence to come up with the specific ones. But invest in some broad portfolio ETFs with 70% of your income. The next 15% I like to invest in what my heart uh, desires when it comes to stocks. I do my due diligence. Uh, and I like to invest in individual stocks, which are a lot more risky, but have the ability to make you know more money and lose more money. Um, but that's what I do with 15%. 5% I invest in uh, precious metals like gold, silver, um, platinum, etc. And then 10%, I would say, you need to give to charity. You pick the charity, but 10% you need to give away. It, it really does help set your mind straight that, you know what, I'm given these assets and I'm going to help somebody who's less fortunate with 10% of that money. That's what I do with my portfolio. Uh, obviously, this is my opinion and not an investment uh, strategy that I am telling you to do. Uh, do your own due diligence. Invest the way you like. But these are my ideas. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. These are the six steps that I would take with $100 if all I had was $100 to my name. I hope this will help you turn your $100 into future wealth that will make you financially free. And until then, guys, keep hustling. And remember, only you can make your financial dreams come true. Don't delay. Get started today. I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe. God bless. Bye.